This is an injector example that works with the key auth API. Uh, it's built off the key auth example. It's better than ModMap for sure, and it's uh, even better than SMAP, the modified version, uh, which is already pretty good on Fortnite at least. So this has been tested on Fortnite. It, uh, it works very well in there, it, at least it did a couple months ago, and so I'm sure it'll suffice for uh, most people. So first, the app name is right here. The app secret is this blurred text, and then in your account settings, uh, the owner ID will be right there. So after that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to the uh, download in the pink comment of this video, and you're going to want to upload this. This is just a DLL file that I'm using with this test program right here, which you can download by looking up this uh, just for testing if you want to, but you don't need to. So you're going to want to upload the injectdrive.sys uh, to Discord, and then paste the link here. Make sure it ends in the extension make, for wherever you uh, upload it to. I recommend Discord because they're the fastest or one of the fastest, uh, but make sure it ends in the extension. If it doesn't, it's not gonna download correctly. And then you take that once it's uploaded and you copy the file ID and you paste it in right here on line 150, okay? And then you're gonna want to upload your DLL and then copy the file ID, same process, and then paste right here. And then you're gonna to wanna to get the uh, exe name of whatever it is. So like for Fortnite, it's like Fortnite win shipping 64 or something like that. You're gonna to wanna to paste that right here. And then for the window name, uh, this is the window title right here. And you copy that and you paste that right here. And then you basically got it set up. And then let's just do a little demo here and show you. Oh, uh, you do need to set the build configuration to release, release x64. And then uh, come to the Kyoth GitHub, the C++ example, download this, put this in your folder, and then uh, extract right here so the libs look like this, okay? And then once you've done that, you should be able to compile fine. And then I'm going to show you how this run. Alright, I'm back. I had a couple of injection issues. Those are fixed now. So you put up the loader F2. It'll inject pretty quickly. And then it'll close. And so that's about all. Uh, you do need to make sure that uh, there's some there's some anti-dump uh, functions in here. So safe will turn on the anti-dump, meaning that you can't send requests, but it'll, it'll help from people dumping the program, trying to crack it. Um, but so if you've already done safe, you must do not safe again to send any requests. So any like key auth functions mostly, except for like user data. You can, of course, reference user data um, if you've already logged in. So like if you wanted this user data right here. Uh, you could do, you know, you could write the function safe here and then print all this user data and then go back to not safe right here when you're loading the driver. So that, uh, make sure that your uh, customers aren't using, uh, don't have any anti-cheats enabled like Valorant or Faceit because that could block the driver loading. And uh, Kioth support will not help you with this because I think it's pretty self-explanatory, especially with this video. And if your game may just not be supported, or maybe there's an issue with your DLL. So try something else if that's the case. Uh, good luck and have a good day.